But uh, usually, of course, children children have have, um, have limited experiences. Of course, they don't have a uh, they, 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 they have experience. Uh, they have a they don't have enough uh, experiences. So of course, a, they have literal literally they don't they have a literal uh, perceptions in his or her environment. So of course, there is a limitation. Yeah, but. As you said, well, as well, most of the three of them, just, I just want to experience about that. And that's uh, the, the nursery. Because if you, if you are a teacher of nursery, then all of the, it's not, it's not easy, but all this action, singing, then how can we approach to them? Of course, uh, they start to they start because in pre eleven, especially in nursery, yeah. so it should be step by step yeah. to teach. So it Sorry. words by words. So this this services me. I just want to, to clear up things. Okay. Uh, yes. Maybe a little. Uh, you, you really want to? I want to know you more. Uh, yeah. The the entire thing. Yes. We're all about the how are we going to approach or how are we going to communicate with a free lip. Yeah. Yes, and we know that uh, free lip, uh, for me, uh, for my um, observation and understanding about the, the communication strategies, we must to, to apply our mother tag to communicate in free lip. Right? No. But, okay. I am get that. Okay, yes, yes. Yes. <laughs> Yes, but also English is a more applicable and you must apply strategy and how are you going to communicate or how are you going to how are you going to to change a specific task or specific idea to the them because as what I have observed and as what I have learned from the the Communication skills, sir. If you're going to communicate with uh, students, I uh, mean, with them, you must do a new like as well. Right? That's the key. Yeah. Okay, so by the way, Rico has uh, an additional uh, input to that. Uh, do you have uh, something also to add to the, no, to add to the, to the, what, to the question? Yeah. I think it, the, the question was raised a while ago and I want you to add that, no? No, I'm just going to talk to you again. Okay, okay. Your question. Okay. I have my own question. Okay, go. <laughs> my question goes like this. <laughs> is language assessment only applicable to uh, certain subject like English subject? Because uh, as what, uh, what we observe right now, especially the part curriculum, especially the primary department, they're, they're using three languages like Filipino, mother, mother based on uh, our own island, then English. Would you like Juni to answer that? That is only the question. Uh, are the principles then uh, purchase, uh, the purchase uh, types of language is the same? That's all. Yeah, okay, Juni, answer that yourself. Actually, actually, I already clear my report while ago that I really based on English language assessment. I don't refer any subjects in a particular, uh, in a particular, in any language. languages. So I only prefer to English language assessment. Now what I mean is, now I think I understand the question of Rico. Yes. He's only asking something if it, if you can integrate this with another subject, the Filipino and the other one, Cibuano, Cibuano aside from English. Yes. Okay, you answer that. Answer the question of Rico. Yes. At first, it is it is really applicable to Cebuano, Cebuano dialect or the Filipino language. Of course, in, in a particular languages, there are they are they have the the principles and uh, they have the principles to be followed. So same as sir. Why? Excuse me. You're not. I'm sorry. I cannot entertain you. You you are out of this world. The, the subject we're talking about the. Language communication, the universal language, and that is English. And I cannot entertain unless you do that here. Yes. I think sir, um, his suggestion is not a question, but the question there is: uh, is, is the etymology uh, is, is very well um, um, confused? Uh, no. Um, Was she confused? Yes, sir. 
I think she was that confused. Yes, sir. She was only clarifying a while ago. Oh, so you mean you were not satisfied? No, no, I did not say like that. Oh, okay. Sorry, I did not say like that. I'm just, I am so satisfied. Why are you saying before? No, sir. Because? Okay, no, sir. Because? Here's a question. Amazing, then. Okay. What she raised the question a while ago was just only a clarification of, of the language assessment. I just want to learn more. I want to learn more. Not only in the actual, but I want to learn more. That's why I'm just asking you all about that if, how can I approach the language this thing on the red hand? Oh, that's all. It's a simple question, so do, do not complicate that question. Yes. Okay, wait, wait, wait. Johnny, answer that. Yes. Wait, wait, Johnny, answer that. <laughs> I, just want to, I just want to defend myself. Oh, yeah, so what, what is that? I just want some clarification, sir, if she is satisfied. It was very clear a while ago what she said that there was no confusion. She was not confused. So why is it that we have to aggravate the situation if, the, the, if uh, she was not confused? She's not yet finished. And I think she's not, uh, she's not also uh, very well satisfied about the explanation. And I just want, I just want you to... So you mean that you want also to she what? She wants to... to to hear about the Juni side. Okay, Juni. Oh, yes. I want to say something about him. When no, what, what I mean, when, you say, when she said that she was not confused about the question, it was only a clarif clarificatory question, I think. It was just only a clarification. I said while ago that before I'm just confused, that's why I'm just asking. But you understood everything. No, no, no. What you raised a question a while ago was a sort of clarifying yes, about the application, especially yes. if you're a teacher yes. who is teaching in prelim, pre right? Yes. Okay, yes. right. When he explained it to me like this, then I'm so very... I understood what you're saying about it. There's, well, there was no, let's say, no strategy or other strategy that, that was deviated from Juni. So you were contented with what he said. What you raised the question a while ago was a sort of adding only something about the application of teaching pre eleven, right? I want to clarify. Okay. So, so you disagreed with uh, Lister that uh, she disagreed that she did not ask that. You only what? You only fabricated a, a, a story against her that she was not really asking that question a while ago. Uh, okay, wait, 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 let oh. Okay, you were contented. Okay, that's enough. You were contented. Yeah. You were nothing against the reporter in terms of discussing. Everything was perfect to you. Okay, that's all. Yes. Well, well, you have to defend yourself. Yeah. We jumped out, sir. Why? Yeah. During that time, I didn't know if she is really satisfied about the. Yeah. She only she only clarified everything that that was okay. Why was she jump up? So you mean the topic was irrelevant? Okay, that you think that the topics was irrelevant, not related to Johnny's uh, uh, jump. So you mean that you were jumping from one topic to another topic that you should not ask that question uh, because the topic was not relevant to Johnny's uh, discussion. Okay, that's enough. But because she said that everything, okay, everything is okay. She was contented with Juni's explanation. Okay. Yes, uh, Juni's file. Uh, yes. Actually, I'm almost done. And it's really <laughs> Okay, you were done a while ago. So, you did it. You did it. So you have to wait another questions from your classmates directly. Okay, come on, good. It's your turn now. What? Yeah. <laughs> it's your turn. Wait. Oh, you oh. Well, turn. Okay. It's your turn. It's my turn and I will, uh, I will raise my question. You have to raise the question, otherwise you have no you have no grade. Go. Hurry up.
Hurry up! Oh, hey, wait a tough time. What, what is your question? In what, uh, in, in what way that all the types of language assessment, what is the right time for us to give our students all of the types of Okay, answer, answer that question, Juni. In the right, what, what is the right time for us to give that? Okay, Juni, go. So first, uh, specifically in uh, in language, uh, in kinds of assessment and evaluations, of course, in uh, in for uh, in, in diagnostic assessment. So of course, as I mentioned earlier, that it is uh, it is just like a pretest in order to get the prior knowledge of the students. So it is the proper way of implementing the kind of assessment. So second, for example, uh, second is the the formative. It is the uh, formative assessment, it is the products of learning. So it is the examination or it is the assessment after the after every topic that that was done in a in a teacher. So in the third is the summative. So of course in summative it it should be done during periodical periods in high school level. So it is the proper way in giving summative during periodical examinations in are you now contented with Juni's uh, explanation about the question that you raised about yes, okay very good yes Fabiola yes Fabiola why well, say that you're asking am I a reporter okay go I think I have to rate the reporter but if you ask me directly then I have to deduct points from the reporter if I'm the one answering the question so let the reporter answer that question go Diagnostic is applicable to a speed class. Okay, a speed class. Juni, answer that. Of course, it's a uh, uh, speed, speed or the speed children or there are uh, they are they are also a learners. So of course, they are learners. With the explanation of the speed class, the, there are various types of speed class. Speed class for what? You should be specific as to what about this one, about this, about this. No, no, no. It depends on the kind of person who is there in the speed class. Yeah. Oh, in general, okay, in general. Yeah. Of course, in getting their of course in getting their knowledge in their knowledge of the diagnostic also it is uh, important, but I don't know if what kind of the diagnostic test is very important, but the question is, is it applicable for the speed class? That's only the question that uh, that was being raised by Fabula. You yeah. answer that, yes or no? Of course, it should. The in yes, speed class, they are learners, so of course they need, they need to implement. Uh, a teacher should implement a diagnostic. Oh, that's it. That's, that's the question. Yes, no? that's enough. Uh, okay. Do not explain that anymore. Yes. Please remind uh, important that this is language assessment, so uh, we should not. Uh, what do you call that? Uh, we don't have to, to we just need to, to uh, focus on language. So basically, SPED is language, is, it should be part of the assessment for SPED students. Of course. Yes. Any student, language. any student language. must undergo diagnostic test, regardless of the affiliation. Yes. Uh, the, as I know, aside from the affili affiliation. Regardless of what? Regardless of? Regardless of what? Okay, physical conditions. Yes, Villar. To avoid diversity of Diversity or diverting? To avoid diversity? To avoid jumping of topics. Okay, that's it. To confusion and debate. One my question is self-explanatory so that there will be no confusion because the answer will depend to yourself. So okay. the question is, um, we are talking about language, and as the region of instruction English, is it a prerequisite for all public or private schools to use English as the region of instruction, and why? Juni, answer that. Is it remedial instruction? No. Medium instruction. Medium, medium. Yes, it is. It is really uh, applicable in both public schools and private, private schools. schools because it is required by the Department of Education that every school, whether it is public or private, to 
So it is part English language is part of the curriculum. So that's it. We need to <coughs> we need to we need to consider it. But take note in the public school and in the private school, even in grade one, the private school speaks even the, the, the private school the students no pupils in the private schools the elementary pupils in the private school yes sir they, they don't speak in Cebuano they don't yes, they don't follow the curriculum that you have to use the Cebuano no yeah that's it to follow but be careful also with with regard to the application of the language assessment as to speaking either in Cebuano or in English, but we're talking about language assessment as far as English is concerned, but we have to do yes. that. Since okay. the English is the medium of instruction, we have to use that, a requirement. But in, as I, you said a while ago, in pre-ELM, right? It's not a must for you that in, in grade one that you have to speak, uh, it's really English, right? But there is a private school, a private school that the, the owners of the private school but speak English all the time, even the pupils are in grade one. Right. Yeah. Wait, 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 wait. Yes, that's it. Are they breaking the rules? Yeah, you know, they have their own curriculum. They can, they can also violate. Yes. The question is, if you are going to use English as the medium of instruction. Yes. So a medium of instruction there is when you instruct your students in English because it's about English. Yes. But, but um, if you said medium Cebuano as the medium of instruction, you can also do that. Yes, Apply that also to people. Filipino, then, then do that. Filipino. Filipino. Yes. 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 This is also a sentence from the You said that uh, we all know as a future educators that speaking English is important for our students, right? Yes. Yeah. So, how will you explain to the saying of our national hero, Sir that a person who is uh, not using our the language of our own is uh, more than a species fish or something like that. So what is your side your opinion about that saying in this context to uh, the part of the culture as Filipinos? We have to end up that question of Villar by by maybe sharing uh, insights into the question of Villar about that quotation of Dr. Rizal about our culture and then we, we do not maybe follow even we, most of us speak English but we, we should uh, speak in Filipino because that is I think the quotation quotation of Dr. Rizal for us okay I, we have to end up with with that kind of question then answer that also based on the question raised by Villar anybody who can answer that let us okay listen to the reporter first so uh, first it is uh, as what Dr. Osirisal said, so it is also uh, it is also part of being uh, of having a nationalism. So we need also it is required also for us also as a Filipino citizen to not forget what is our own language. But since the Department of Education include the English subject because it is our universal language, so it is also required for us to speak in English because it is part of our education. That's it. Anything? Anybody who can go against that uh, explanation of the... Yes, we can. So, yep. in the issue of who is to be blamed about our, mm. our children who are not very much good in speaking our very own language, so who is to be at fault and, um, and why or why not? Or are they really... Um, are they really subject for for questioning why you why you resolve that point? No, uh, for me there is no there there's no any violation for uh, for acquiring any language because of course we are we are we are we live in this world to to, to we live in this world in order to have a good relationship to other people. So of course how come if we only have to know the Filipino language. How, how can we understand the other people outside the Philippines? So it is required also in order for us to have a good relationship in other countries. So that's it. That's the purpose there. Uh, in the Philippines, I think, uh, are we nationalistic to, especially to our language, everything, uh, the products that we have? Not totally. Not totally, right? But, but in other countries, I think uh, the, the French people are very nationalistic to their language. Yes. They don't uh, learn or speak English even in their community because their language should be the top priority. They don't want to learn another language. Why is it that 
in France, the, the country France is very progressive. Now here in the Philippines, uh, we have to adapt the other language yes. because it is one way also for us to improve our economic uh, living conditions and then we should be progressive by adapting others yes. culture yes. others yes. language me first yes uh, yes only only one question sir because only one question here in the, uh, only one answer because here in philippines we are a democratic country so we are free to, cho to choice How about to choose democracy? there in france also wait 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 okay answer that so of course in france they need to they need to be loyal or they need to be uh, they need to be or they are very uh, they are very uh, as I say they are very nationalistic or they are very they are going to be followed their own language. France is a very powerful country they yes. don't adopt other languages except only French language why is it that they are so progressive people are very rich and they are very progressive the country is well developed and uh, uh, they are very powerful, especially the country France. Yes. Not only France, sir, but uh, uh, yes, uh, that's only my example. Like, uh, oh. Japan, yeah. Korea, and Taiwan, and many other European countries, including Germany. But why is it Philippines is still poor? Since we, we uh, most of the ESL teachers are Filipinos. Yeah, yeah. Because we speak very good English. Most of the BPO industries are here in the Philippines. What is do you okay? So what do you think is the the, the last part? Maybe the last part of the maybe the topic and the answer maybe of Johnny to end up with this. Uh, no, no, to end up with this. Uh, let's say reporting that we have. We have to end up with that uh, report with our with our report with your report by answering also exactly why is it that we are still uh, poor, we remain poor. Although we can adapt, we can speak English very well. The only problem is, why is it that the Philippines uh, is still very, the, the country is very poor? What is the reason behind? We, we lag behind in terms of, you know, the, the progress, in terms of the development, everything, even we speak the language very fluently. That is the question. But the other countries aside from France, but for me, I also like France because I experienced there, but the other countries are also progressive, very progressive. Yes. But they are not very nationally. No, what I mean, they don't adapt the other languages, but they are very nationalistic to their cultures and languages that they have. But except only for the Philippines. So why is it that Filipinos remain very poor and the Philippines is still very poor? What do you think is the reason? We have to end up that by answering what is your opinion to that. You have to end up with that kind of question that you raised a while ago. Go. Internationally, internationally, internationally acknowledged. acknowledged. So that's why we have to use an international language for us to be able to be globally competitive. Yes, Lister. I think you raised your question. Yes, you raised oh, you, you raise the, nice question, the question or you raised your right hand a while ago? Yes. Okay. Go. So the question there, sir. Do not ask any more questions. Answer also the same, the same question because we have to end up with no, our report. No, no more. Okay, so, sit down. Yes, so and up think, also. Uh, the Philippines is poor because it is poor. It's poor. It is poor. It is poor. It is poor. It is poor. Even though we are, we are, even though we are not nationalistic, we, we, we remain poor. Exactly. Exactly. Um, Philippines is poor because of our society. It runs in our blood. Corruption is always there. Yes. There is no ending. Because Filipinos, in other words, are not well disciplined. Yeah. We go yeah. Yes, last one. 
No, no, do not ask any more questions. I won't entertain questions. Yes, you. Okay, wait, wait. Okay, answer that. No more question. Okay. And also, even though they are professional, they did not use it. Because even though they are professional, but when they do things and paint this, they throw it anywhere. But like you know, in other countries, they are garbage. They throw it in their dust bucket. And when they go home, they will throw it away in the proper way. Okay. Yeah, very good. Well said. Yes. You there, Rico. There are a lot of factors. Okay. The reason why Philippines is poor. And if we cite them one by one, uh, it finishes, it takes a long, long time or so. We have to end up our discussion. Okay, a big hand.